Hi good people, hi animal lovers. This is Sherry. I am here with some free and valuable information for you to benefit yourself as well as others. All right, and today I will be talking about dog walking, walking your dogs, okay? So dogs are our pets, we love them, we, we get them, they keep us company, our companions, our you know, um, member of the family more or less, right, in their proper place. Um, but they need more than love and, you know, petting and all that is wonderful and feeding. They also need walks, okay? Walking is a big part of, of dog health, okay? And there's benefits in it for them as well as you, okay? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. The benefits of walking your dog or the dog that you have around you. If you can maybe get a friend or family member's dog, you know, if it's a safe situation and take them for a walk. You know, it's free. That's one of the benefits. Also, um, if you're trying to establish a regular toileting schedule with your dog, definitely walking helps. Um, I will try to. I will say you're going to want to try to stick with the schedule. You know, the same time, be it you know whatever works around your schedule, your shift if you're working or whatnot. Um, also, to make sure to give them a long enough walk. You know, not just up the block sometimes is not enough. Sometimes I've noticed with the dog that I walk, they actually have to go around the whole block and then they actually are able to like, you know, go poop, okay? So better outside than inside your house. And of course, bring bags with you to clean up the poop, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? Um, and if you can do it frequently, four times a day is a optimal situation, but sometimes, you know, with, uh, we don't have that time or you know, circumstances. So at least twice a day, but you know, if you can, and my goal this month until the end of May is to do it three times a day, okay? And I'm not doing anything weird, I'm just doing the three. So I like doing it this way rather than this. I, you know, I have kind of curvy fingers, so when I do this, it looks kind of, <laughs> so I do it this way, but I'm not throwing up anything that's literally just the number three, okay? Really. All right, I digress. So, um, you're going to walk your dog, try to do it two to three times a day, four times optimal scenario. Okay. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and do it three times a day, um, until the, you know, for the rest of May. And then by June, I'm also going to try to work up to four times a day, which is the schedule that he was on before, um, when there was two of us walking him. So we'll see how that goes. I'm also working out too myself. So I think this is just going to add to, you know, to my physical benefits as well, which is the second point. Um, in addition to helping the dog with their pottying schedule, it also helps to, you know, to have to get their exercise. You figure dogs are, you know, under our dominion. So they're pretty much stuck in the house. They don't know how to open the door. They can't go outside to go potty. They are literally so dependent upon us. They wait on us, you know. Um, so it's the only fresh air they get is when we take them out to get it, you know, so don't try, don't cheat them on that. They, they deserve that. They need that. They need that fresh air and they need that exercise. And again, added benefit, you get the exercise win, win. And they're the best exercise partner because, you know, unlike, you know, your human friends, sometimes you say, Hey, you know, you said we were going to walk today. They're like, mm, I don't want to, you know, something ha happens, you know, legit. But animals, dogs, oh my goodness, they never say no. They're ready. Any time of day, morning, noon, and night, they are ready. So keep that in mind. Walking them benefits you as well as them. Also, too, um, because of the physical exercise, what that will do if your dog has um, any type of behaviors, barking or, you know, a lot of energy, that's because they need to be exercised. And when you walk them, you'll see the behaviors decrease. Okay, I promise you, because there was a little situation <laughs> at one point where I was like, whoa, this dog has super, you know, I don't know if this is the right, you know, match because this dog has a lot of energy. I don't know if I can give it what it needs. But of course, you know, I'm an animal lover, so I'm not going to give up on it. And um, lo and behold, the walking fixed so many things, you know, because then they're tired out. You know, that's all they need is that little exercise. And if you can do it two times a day. At least that's wonderful. Um, three times a day is good. Four times is wonderful. Okay? So let's try it for the month of May. It's, uh, what is it, May 4th today. Tomorrow's uh, Cinco de Mayo or something of that nature. Let's try it till the end of May. You know? It's healthy. So yeah, those are the three benefits 
You establish a toileting schedule, so less accidents in the house, no accidents in the house. Um, they get their exercise, their physical exercise, and behaviors decrease, okay? And same thing, whoever's walking them gets their exercise and fresh air, okay? And it's free. It's one of those activities that's free, okay? And there's not a lot of those, you know? But nowadays, it's perfect. It's the perfect activity, perfect, okay? And they never say no. All right, let me look at my notes here for a moment. All right, okay, I wanted to touch on safety, okay? When you walk your dog or your friend's dog or whomever, whatever, you know, pet you're walking, um, keep safety in mind. Um, dogs tend to, can be reactive, so watch the uh, environment, you know, be alert, be calm, you know, because they feel your energy as a human, you know, so they're on the end of that leash and they can, you know, whatever mood you're in, if you're fearful, if you have anxiety, you know, they can feel it kind of like children because they know in a way that they're vulnerable and that they're dependent, you know. So if you're anxious, makes them anxious. If you're crabby, you know, it's just a, not a good energy for them to, to be around. So try. I know life happens, you know, you can't always be in a perfectly perfect mood, but just keep that in mind. You know, they deserve their walk and they deserve to have it in peace as much as possible okay so what else um yeah be just be conscientious of um, distractions with other dogs i know our dog actually loves other dogs so when he sees them he has the habit he wants to go meet them okay all the time every dog but this can be a dangerous thing you know um so sometimes i'll i'll that's where i make sure that i'm i know what's going on and i can see the dog sometimes before he even does you know if he's sniffing I'll see and I actually sometimes I'll get him out of the line of sight of the other dog. You know, I'll I'll walk him up towards where there's a car parked where he won't be able to see the other dog on the other side of the street. You got to be creative and you got to be smart, okay? Just to avoid, you know, getting the dog overexcited or having them try to go over there and, you know, play and meet the dog. Because, <laughs> you know, some dogs, they love other dogs. Um... Now, also too, I know this is common sense, but be careful if you walk your dog at night. It's kind of a wonderful thing. It's nice and peaceful. It's serene, but be careful because it's night, you know, and you don't want to have to depend on your dog. Some dogs are guard dogs and they will, they will die for you, <laughs> but you know, you wouldn't want to be put in that situation if you can avoid it in the first place, you know, so protect you and the dog. Just keep that in mind if you're going to walk your dog at night. I know here in the Midwest, it gets dark early sometimes in the winter and the fall months, but we're in spring, so we don't have to worry about that. So get out there. Get out there early. It gets, uh, it gets light out early, too, so you can take an early morning walk. That is so peaceful. Oh, my goodness. It changes your life, you know, to actually watch the sun come up in the morning, you know, or in the evenings, watch it go down. It's wonderful. And your dog will never say no. They never say no. They'll never cancel on you. <laughs> All right, so what else? Um, what else are we going to talk about? Um, oh, when you walk your dog, here, I wanted to show you. You just need a few things. It's real simple, not nothing spectacular, but let me show you the basic tools that you need to go walk your dog. It's common sense, but let's, let's just get a visual, okay? All right, here we go. Come with me. Come with me, please. Let me show you something. Hold on. Uh, I'm just going to have to show you like this. Okay, so see these? Picture, picture your dog walking <laughs> with you. That's what that is. Okay? Doo -doo -doo. They love it. Walk them. Please walk them. <laughs> Okay, all right, so here's the basic tools that you need. I don't know if you guys are seeing this right, but you got a harness, okay? All right, got yourself a harness. Oops, and it kind of goes on like a bra for those, you know, for ladies. You know, you put one paw in this way and one leg in this way, and it kind of goes across their chest like a bra, okay? Then, in this situation, we got a leash, a strong one. Okay, very durable. Just be careful because some dogs are strong and if they're not fully trained, you know, it takes a while. Or if they haven't been walked in a while, they'll get kind of rambunctious and they pull hard. So get yourself a nice, strong leash, okay? 
All right, I always take these little bags with for, obviously, for picking up potty. You don't want to be that bad neighbor who leaves potty poop all over the neighborhood. Yuck. It's also, you know, kind of dangerous health-wise, so pick up your dog's poop. Carry one of these with you. Even before you leave out the house, you know you're going to... You know you're going to need one. I bring two because sometimes this dog poops twice. You know, that's why I said they need to go around the whole block too. Keep that in mind. Okay, so don't just walk them up to the corner. Don't jip them out of their walk. Just walk them the whole walk. <laughs> you know, they need that, honestly. Okay, it's be better for you because either you're going to clean it up outside when they're walking or you're going to clean it up later in the house. Choice is yours. <laughs> All right, and then just to show you one more thing, I use this hand sanitizer because, you know, when you're picking up poop even with the bag I just like to put a little bit of that okay so that's it you have those little tools and that'll keep your dog here, we'll get this back here that'll keep you and your dog you know you'll both benefit from it which is a wonderful thing that's what you want you know nice simple simple activities that make life better all right so harness leash bags hand sanitizer if you can some people if you can you know, if you want to bring gloves, I can't afford to buy gloves like that. Otherwise, I would, but can't afford it. I just use the bag and then this hand sanitizer. And when I get home, I wash my hands in warm water with soap. So, all right. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, oh, do you know, now with everything going on, I don't want to, I want to be positive. That's why I'm making these kind of videos, kind of veering more towards a positive spin. Um, there's actually money to be made from walking dogs. Yes. Okay. For those who are still working and, you know, who have a little bit of money to spend and have pets and want them, need them walked, you know, not every business is, is, um, slow down. I mean, the rest are coming back, but, um, there's some that are still going. There's people that still need their dogs walked. There is a website. There's actually two websites that I know of that will pay you, people pay you to walk their dogs. Okay. One of them is called WAG. W-A-G, okay, wag, like wagging the tail, okay, and they pay you, and it's a decent price, and you just go walk them, you know, half an hour sometimes, an hour in the morning, an hour at night, um, my Uber driver was telling me about that the other day, and actually I have a family member who has a friend who does that as well, and I, I met a couple people, so if you like dogs, and if you like to walk, it's a perfect way to make extra money, so keep that in mind, also there's care.com, uh, that they have pet care on there. Same thing. They actually have people too, besides just dog walking. Like, you know, some people need their birds cared for, their, their cats, you know, sometimes they're older people who can't do it themselves. So sad, you know? Um, and sometimes they're business people, you know, that I leave and go out of town, but you know, they need their care. They don't want to pay for boarding cause that's kind of expensive. So, you know, you just come to their house. Some people want you to sit with their cats or just water them, feed them, brush them, simple stuff. Good way to make cash. So Keep that in mind with everything going on, okay? If you're an animal lover, which I know many of you are, it's a good, you know, win-win. All right? So care.com and WAG, all right? Uh, so, yeah, that was free and valuable information. Look at that. You found some ways to make money, too. All right? Um, so are you guys going to go walk a dog? <laughs> you going to exercise? Going to get all those benefits? I'm going to. I have to do that now, actually. So if you want, I can actually record it. We'll do a part two to this, and you can. See, I'll show you um, getting this harness on and everything and taking them out so you can see the process. And again, it has to be done, you know, it seems uh, so glamorous and everything, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's not. You know, you have to do it, and it has to be done. Even rain, sleet, or snow, it has to be done. You know, the other day we had really rainy days here, and it, it still has to be done. Sometimes you got to go to work, and you're exhausted. You got to take them out, especially if you work early first shift. They still got to go out, you know. So, but it's worth it. It's totally worth it. All right. So you guys know what to do. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, please. You can also share this video if you found it valuable, which I hope that you did. Um, let's see. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. I always check them, um, and I'll respond. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see what we can do with this. Um... So you guys know, just real briefly, you guys know my channel is Sherry's uh, Research and Reviews. So this is a topic I've obviously researched because I have to walk a dog every, pretty much every day unless he's by his other person's house. So, uh, so yeah, I mean this, and I've learned that there's, you know, benefits them as a 
being a pet owner it's your responsibility and it benefits it it's it's such a great thing because it benefits you know the owners you know it gets you exercise it gets you out of the house you know for those of us who are kind of introverted um it makes you get out makes your you know be healthy so it's a wonderful thing all right oh also too for those of you if you're looking for dating and you know if you're in that phase of your life dogs are like chick magnets and dogs are also dude magnets people love guys love that dog oh my goodness like he gets so much attention you know it's too bad he doesn't really like to be you know he can't really be petted by everybody but he you know just saying just saying this you know hey you got to pull out all your your you know <laughs> your assets to to try to you know find somebody to match with so keep that in mind you know animal lovers like other animal lovers and that's a good thing if you are an animal lover you want to know that you can be with somebody who also values that so keep that in mind i'm telling you all these benefits all these benefits and it's free okay so go ahead walk your dog or get a dog to walk keep in mind the safety okay and maybe even sign up do it maybe make some extra money off of it you know and uh yeah, and get your, you know, use the proper harness or there's different types of collars and stuff too you can use. Um, such as like if they have a, if they need to be disciplined a little bit or need modifying their behavior if they're, you know, lunging or pulling too much. You can get like the prong collars, which gives a little bit of pressure, but you have to um, make sure that you do it correctly so that you're not just pulling because they're strong. They're going to pull. Even if you pull that, if those prongs are in there, they're still going to pull back. You know, they're strong. But um, the, the whole point when you do it is to kind of, you have to, it's the sudden movement that makes their neck go up that attention that's what you're doing so you're not like physically like you know using the pain to you know or trying to stop them you're trying to get their attention and the prong kind of you know puts that pressure that gets their attention okay just a fyi oh um i'm gonna try to include in the links i'm doing this on my phone so i, I don't really i'm not totally um i don't totally know how to navigate it but there's a uh, three and I, I promise you i'm not I'm not doing anything weird. You guys know that. Like I said, I have really cur curvy fingers. So, you know, anyways, three. <laughs> okay. There's three um, dog trainers that you guys should check out that have videos on dog walking. Okay. One of them you already know, Cesar Milan, the little Mexican dude from California. That's, you know, he's like the dog whisperer. He's awesome. <laughs> so watch his videos. I'll try, I'll try to include the link. Okay. On the bottom of this video. And then also there's two guys you might not have heard of. Um... One is called, uh, one's name is Tom Davis. He's from the Canine, um, oh goodness, Upstate Canine Academy. So he has a whole bunch of videos on dog training and they're wonderful. He shows you how to, uh, he actually trains military dogs and everything. So he is just great. Um, he takes like, he rehabilitates dogs and everything and trains them so well. He does, like I said, military and, uh, or police dogs. I don't know if he does military, but he definitely does police dog training. Wonderful. Check him out. Tom Davis, Canine Upstate, Upstate Canine Academy. Okay. And the other guy is, uh, Zach George. That's his name, George Zach. He's featured on my um, featured pages on my YouTube channel. So check him out too. He's really good. He does a lot of dog training. So, you know, enjoy them. They're our pets, you know, compa companions. They're under our dominion and, um, and we treat them well and it only benefits ourselves as well as others. Okay, so I hope you guys go and walk a dog. Okay, and you know the spiel. Do your research. Do your research. Do your research on dog training, on dog walking, and remember that God loves us, okay? All of us. The true God loves all of us, all right? On that note, have a good evening, okay, everybody? Happy Monday. Thanks. Bye.